Look at these three friends. They found a little spot which has aspen shavings, which is underneath where I'm supposed to be hanging the water. I already gave them two small waters because this one was empty and so it's, you know, I was washing it and everything. And uh, I'm about to put it back. But there's only one place to hang it and they're in the way. Huh. I did a quail count and I believe there's 21. And they're all just resting around. Jackson. And by the way, uh, where's the other one? Wherever the other male is, oh, there's Frankie. He's like completely out. He's got his head tucked in the side. Where is the other male? Well, wherever he is, he could be in the corner there. He called for almost a week. And then I was down here and Frankie let out a great big call. And somehow they worked it out. Be well, these guys already had worked it out before. They're two males. Those two together. And they, I mean, they challenged Frankie in the beginning, but now they're just quiet and secure in their rank. And uh, yeah, Frankie is still the dominant male. And I wasn't sure what was going on because when this one, I think it's that one in the corner, was calling for almost a week, six days or something, but by the seventh day, like I saw Frankie just ignoring him all the time. And then finally, I don't know what changed, but it's been quiet for two days. That just means that um, however they worked it out, um, the ranking is now in place. Took quite a while. Anyways, that one, the white one, it didn't even show itself as a contending male. Like he's t going on two years old. So maybe it's because they they moved into this new area for the winter and so they had to reestablish like who was who okay so I'm gonna have to shoo the they're so cute I'm gonna have to shoo them away there's three of them now uh, there I don't know if you can see them <laughs> and one of them's gone to sleep <laughs> or no it's doing something underneath <laughs> anyways I have to shoo them away so I can hang up the water here are eggs. So they're not really supposed to be laying at this time of year. And I only have the timed lights on for five hours a day, so I might have to go back a half an hour because they should be resting during the winter. Yeah. So I had to forcibly remove one of them. Where is she? Sarah. I was nudging the other two and they moved. And then Sarah, she... She would not move, so I had to pick her up. I kept trying to nudge her and nudge her. She wouldn't move. She loved being in the Aspen shavings. But anyways, they've um, had their fill of water already because um, I put two small waters in there and they drank and drank. So I guess they're more interested in eating now. They got their grit as well. Finn, I saw you stretching, Finn. Anyways. I like it better when there's the golden leaves, but these are the dark leaves. And I try to when it's flattened down and they've run all over it, 
I go around and collect the eggs, I, they still manage to kind of bury and hide some. A lot of times they're in the corners and things like that, but they randomly put them places and I, I usually they pop like three or two. So those ones, I try not to squash them flat. <laughs> I can put them outside for the nocturnal animals that really, some of them don't hibernate. Jackson is camouflaged. Look at how he's so dark. Finn! Is that your man? Yeah? Oh, and one last com uh, another comment about um, the drinker. It l doesn't look good to me. It's galvanized, but it still is rusting, so I am not sure of the composition of the metal. But I can't really put the drinkers with the nipples that hang straight down because it's too much um, water goes into this. And it is ever so slightly damp in here because sometimes I spill a little bit or whatever. But um, I generally want it drier because I don't want it to start composting in here. And it really does not start to compost until I get it outside and add water in the summertime. So, so. anyways. That's it, that's all. I was down here and I saw that the, um, the exhaust was disconnected over there. I was just behind here pulling out um, staples from a project from before that Rick was having to uh, put up um, plastic. So I'm mean, getting all these pulling out all these staples and stuff like that. Frankie. Frankie, my boy. You're a good quail. Here at the Urban Quail Ranch. <laughs>